Hi everybody, uh, welcome to Design Chat. This is episode number 20. Uh, we have an awesome show for you guys tonight. My name is Ryan McGovern. Uh, on Twitter, I'm at Hoopajube and at Design Chat. Uh, if you want more info about the show, go to designchat.info. Um, tonight, uh, second time, a uh, long-time friend of the show, we've got Fabio Sasso from Obdezito. Uh He's also got 3YZ, uh, which is his uh, personal company down in Brazil. Uh, Obdezito is a blog that uh, shows Photoshop tutorials and design examples and inspiration. And uh, Fabio has uh, been nice enough to uh, come back again and say hi. What's going on, Fabio? Hey, hey Ryan, how are you? So first off, thank you like for inviting me back on the chat. Like it's always a pleasure to be here and talk Definitely, about design. Man. So I'm back. I'm back in Brazil now. So and I haven't been speaking English like uh, that much. So forgive me for any like horrible mistake. I'll, I'll <laughs> make for sure. <laughs> Stop worrying, man. Your English is fine. It's fine. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> um, all right, so just so if, if anybody hasn't been here before, we're going to do about a 45 minute to an hour long discussion um, near the end of this discussion tonight, uh, and probably a little sooner, maybe a half hour in, we'll start doing a Q&A with the audience. So start getting your questions ready, and here's why. Because um, just like two seconds ago, Fabio and I decided that uh, we're going to do a little promotion, and we're going to give away uh, an Abdezito t-shirt. Because um, I noticed Fabio's wearing one right now. Is that the one that you're going to give away? No, that's not the one that we're gonna give away. We're gonna give away like a big one, like that's the Goddess of Abduction. It's it's a really cool T-shirt. So cool, man. I can I'll I'll put the link, the URL here. Hold on, like then. Yeah, put it in the uh, the chat box. Yeah. Um, so yeah, in during the Q and A, uh, at the end of the night, Fabio is gonna pick out the best question from the night, and uh, we'll get that person's information, and uh, we're gonna send them a T-shirt. So get start thinking about it, okay? Um, so. Uh, so we were getting ready for the, the chat and Fabio and I, you know, we, right away we start talking and uh, I started asking him questions about what's going on and I had to stop him. I was like, listen, we gotta, this is good stuff. We've got to save this for the chat. Uh, <laughs> one of the things that we started to talk about is the, uh, the website, the Abdezito website. Uh, you, you're going through a redesign right now. How's that going? Yeah, yeah. So we're about to release a new design. Probably it's going to be released it's like within two weeks or even less than that. So we're working on simplifying the website, making things simpler to find. And it's gonna be cool. The design is kind of like, we're always changing the design. It's a, For me, it's like, it's always nice to, to play with the design and see. And now that there are a lot of people coming and we can try different things, I think people will like. It's gonna be like easier to find content and then participate more like on the, on the blog. How old is the, the current design right now? Oh, the current design, I think it's, uh, I think it's six months, not more than that, probably. I, I released that design like in the beginning, like in, in February, I think, or March. It's not, it's not very old, but, you know, like, I like to, to change things so that I always think new things. And I, I'm playing more with HTML5 and CSS3 and some, I will apply some things on the website. It's going to be cool. That's awesome. That's awesome. So you were saying earlier that you're really hands-on and, and you're actually, not only are you designing it, but you're coding, you're doing most of the work yourself on that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Like, Abdezito, like, we run Abdezito, like, we run Drupal, like, of the CMS, so I'm I'm doing the programming thing, and then pretty much everything. My brother is helping me for like more difficult tasks and forms and stuff like that. But I like to 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 keep working on Abdezito, like doing everything. So it's gonna be it, it's pretty complicated sometimes. And I I'm working in like on other projects, so like working at night, it's it's crazy. I was going to say, you look a little tired, man. You need to start sleeping a little bit. Yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I, I, like, I started 5 o'clock this morning, so it's crazy. I have to finish so many things by this Friday. It's going to be a big holiday here uh, next Monday. So, a lot that's, of things to but do. See, that's, a, that's the thing about you know, um, design and, and the web. If, if most of your brand is living on the web, um, you know, it's, it's not a bad thing that you're you know, that you're making this move to keep it interesting and keep it evolving because I'm sure you get a lot of feedback from your audience about how the site's working and what's good and what's bad. How do you how do you get that feedback? Do people just write you or do you reach out for it? 
Yeah, we receive like a lot of emails every day, like suggestions, and then sometimes people send emails asking that they saw a content like a post, and then they cannot find it anymore because we've been posting like five times per day, so there are a lot of content and a lot of things happening, and sometimes it's kind of hard to keep up with all the content. So we're simply fine, make things easier. That's that's like removing things that didn't work that we thought it would work. And it's going to be like more about simplifying and make the site more uh, like uh, readable and easy to use. Um, and how long have you been working on this new revision? Uh, well, uh, the design, I finished the design like last month, but then I, 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 I didn't work on the, 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 the Drupal thing. And now I'm working more on the Drupal. Like, so I've been working on the new design like for the last two weeks. And it was supposed to be released last week, so I had, but I had some problems, and I, I wasn't able. I failed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was an app to zero fail. Yeah. Well, your, uh, your, your failures are gonna burn pretty bright though, because everybody <laughs> loves the stuff that you put on, and and uh, and the app to zero site is definitely you know a high class endeavor, and and uh, attracts a lot of eyeballs, and people people love the stuff that you do, man. So definitely keep it up. Um, not, not like you need my encouragement because you are doing just an amazing job. Um, and, and so that leads me into like the fact that you inspire a lot of people. Um, you have your daily inspiration that you put out. Um, and you mentioned earlier that you're, uh, there's going to be an iPhone app also. Is that specifically about the daily inspiration? Yeah. So uh, we started the daily inspiration, I think, was in the beginning of this year. And then because like... I thought to myself, I was working and I, I'm always looking uh, at images and finding inspiration, looking for inspiration. And then I talked to like a, a, my, my, my partner, my Abitazido partner, another writer, and then I told him, uh, you know what, like we can like start sharing the, 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 the images that we use for our work, like for our professional work, the inspiration, our creative process in a daily inspiration art. And then we asked for the other writers to send their images. And people start sending images as well. So the daily inspiration got pretty popular and we have now like almost 300 daily inspirations and each daily inspiration has uh, more than 60 images and very nice images, uh, like very inspiring. So we, we thought about this web phone, uh, iPhone uh, app and we start working on it and it's, it's really good. Uh, like I think it's going to be awesome. It's going to be released. Uh, like in one like one month we're waiting for the apple thing like it has to be approved by apple and then we're working it's going to be free too so to encourage i was just going to ask is it free or is it a paid app it's going to be a free app yeah so we thought about the free or paid but we think like yeah, does it is free like we're working like we, we have this this uh philosophy of free stuff so we're giving for free Probably we'll put some ads. I don't know how we work on that to monetize, but that's that's gonna be that's not gonna be like for the first version for sure. Is most of your monetization from Abdezito from ads? Yeah, it's for yeah, it's for ads and uh, like uh, we I, I got some jobs because of Abdezito, so there is this indirect like there like things that happen because of Abdezito, so the ads are not the main uh, way that I that I make money with the blog. What is good? So that's why I'm keeping it for free. So. Um, that's something that I've been thinking about a lot too. This is so. This is design chat number twenty. This is the twentieth time we've done it. Um, not all of them have been video chats, but hopefully that's the way we're going to continue in the future. Once in a while, we'll do a chat that's just completely Twitter based because that's how we started. So that the idea is it brings in the you know the, the design community. And um, you know I, I've got a nine to five. I do you know I'm an art director in Chicago. Um, and I do the design, Stella, I love it. I do the, the design chat show, you know, on the side. And this is, you know, this is a fun endeavor for me. And, and I've had a lot of good times involving design community and people on Twitter and that sort of thing. And uh, that's something I'm working on too. I've got to find a way to keep this show going. And in order to do that, I'm going to have to start paying for some things. So I'm not sure if I really want to go the route of like ads and having ads on the site. But in the future, we're probably going to do, I'll have like a donate button on the site. You know, through PayPal, you can, you know, the, so the show is free. The, the, just like you were saying about Abizito, I like the idea yeah. that the show is free. It's free for everybody to come see. 
I want to bring lots of cool guests to this show. I want everybody in the design world, um, whether it's web design, print design, um, you know, it could, it could be any type of design at all. Um, I want to bring all of those people to the design community and keep con you know, conversation going. So um, it's cool to have you on, man, and you're definitely like a, a huge inspiration in the design community. People okay. love you. And uh, they love your t-shirts too. We're giving away a t-shirt, so everybody get yeah, these questions ready. Yeah, we have ready. a t-shirt. We have a t-shirt to give away. So how many t-shirts uh, have you guys designed? Uh, this is this is an old one. This is the logo, the, the old logo. So we have like I have like another one with the new logo, and then we have this other one that was designed by a Brazilian designer called Draco. That's the like the nice illustration, the one that we're mm -hmm. gonna give away. We have three t-shirts. Probably start having some posters. I have the poster here. Let me. Yeah, there show us the poster. poster. What do you got there? I have some like that. No, this is like it's a mask because I just got back from <laughs> from. Is it the black one? Yeah, this is the black one. So. Very cool. And there's a face, and then in green, it's got the Abduzito logo. Yeah, there's an astronaut looking like it's being abducted. All this space theme. <laughs> it's, nice. It's crazy. Nice. You should run a new Abduzito logo contest. Yeah, you don't like the logo, Charles? Charles? <laughs> <laughs> he called you out, Charles. You, what are you critiquing yeah. the logo? This isn't a, this isn't design critique. I guess we, we could have a critique if you want. We it's could we could throw some work up there. Um, yeah, crowdsourcing with the guys here. I know, I know. We could get some good some valuable work out of this. So uh, so for anybody who is not familiar with Abdezito, they just heard you about tonight. What is Abdezito? Where do you start? Um, what's the name and why do you do what you do? Uh, so, well, the, I started at Benzito back in 2006, so it's it's kind of a weird story because I had my design studio and then it like it was robbed and then took my laptop with my two external hard drives that I used to back up all my Photoshop uh, experiments, all pretty much everything like inspiration files, pretty much everything that I do on Benzito today. I had in my computer offline and then they took everything so I was pretty much lost in space so I decided to start up the Zito as a way like to, to back up my files and of course to promote myself more it was like uh, the beginning of this web 2.0 era with uh, Dave.com a lot of websites Flickr delicious and people sharing their experiences and I thought to myself that it would be nice and it would be a way to promote myself and then practice a bit of my English because I'm from Brazil and then English is my native language it's not my uh, like it's not my la native language so it was that that's why I really started but I never thought that the blog would grow so much that's that's for sure like uh, I remember the blog had 10 to 20 visitors per day like and then I I told my parents and then it, it went to a hundred visitors per day and I was like, whoa, like that's awesome. And then I started posting my uh, like my Photoshop experiments and and some got pretty popular. I got on the front page of the Dick's front page and then everything started growing. And then I started writing uh, tutorials for PSD tools and that helped a lot too. Like, uh, and now Abzido has like more than two million visitors per month. It's it's insane. So that is insane. That's a lot of traffic. Does yeah. does a lot of that come from Dig? Yeah, not anymore. It used to be a lot of from Dig. Now there are a lot of coming from like like from Google, like direct traffic. It's from Twitter a lot, and it's it's great. Sometimes the uh, like hits the front page on Dig, and then it's even like it's it's a better hack. But it's crazy. I remember in the beginning, we had some goals of traffic, like ah, we have like to have a five thousand per day, and then, and then when the, the site was in the front in the Dick's front page, it, it had like twenty thousand now, and now today like every day the average is seventy thousand to ninety thousand. So without Dig, when it, when it, when it hits Dig, it goes like more than a hundred and fifty. It's crazy. So, and now that we have a, 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 a like our hosting, like our host is, is awesome. It can handle the traffic. Before, yeah, the big effect, the, the, the ask, and like before it was complicated. Every time the visit was on dig, like in the front page, we had a lot of problems with the dig effect. 
Now it can handle like the, the media tempo guys. They're 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 awesome. They are uh, their support is amazing. So so now that you have you, you know more of your traffic from uh, you know people, so you have your your reputation. Your brand is established on the web, and um, are you? Uh, is you know are you seeing this transition in, into more of a social media thing where now your name is in discussion people know about you people talk about you, the work they see um, how much time do you spend like promoting your your articles on Twitter yeah like I I'm always promoting the, the, the articles on Twitter and then of course like uh, now people know more about that video they know the tutorials and then people asking about the tutorials but it's kind of crazy Hold on, that there's a plane coming. I live pretty close to the airport, so I can hear it. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the problem that I have here. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't tell me that last time. Yeah. Last time we talked to you, you, you were in the U.S. <laughs> you didn't yeah, tell me that you lived under a plane uh, route. Yeah, I live pretty much like at the airport, so we have to be careful now. It's like <laughs> to spend 20 here in Brazil, so the planes are coming. <laughs> That's so, hilarious. What? Yeah, That's funny. So I forgot the question now. <laughs> I forgot the question now. Oh, it doesn't even matter. Uh, moving on. Okay, so you got your daily inspiration that's going on and it's going to be in the iPhone app. Is there going to be any social media integration, integration I can say it, on, uh, on the, uh, the iPhone app? Yeah, the iPhone app will be like we'll have it like we'll be able to Twitter the image. We'll have some like some random like inspiration that you. I shouldn't be talking about that. This is a feature, but you'll be able to shake the phone to get like a random inspiration, and then you'll be able to tweet that. And oh, that's cool. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be like you'll be able to to, to see to get inspired like using the app. Can people and, can people and submit? We're Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, no, that that's a, that idea of like submitting images, uh, we're thinking about that. It's awesome, but it's gonna be not not for the first version for sure, but probably for the next versions, uh, we will have something about that, like abducting images with your iPhone. And that's a very cool idea. <laughs> do you ever do any contests? Contests, contests about what, like? Uh, like design contests, contest. design competitions. Yeah, we tried some, but uh, it's complicated because we have to judge and then it takes a lot of time. We're planning some new contests. Uh, that video will be like three years old in December, so we'll see. We'll have, we, we, have, we have things in mind, but I, I cannot uh, like tell you right now. You cannot it's divulge that amazing. information? Yeah. Okay, fair really, enough. I won't it's going to be a big that. surprise. <laughs> So okay, so you've got you've got the Abdezito blog, and that, and that's doing really successful. But you also spend your time with Three Y Z, your your uh, digital performance group. Um, yeah. So so tell us a little bit about the history about that. Did that start about the same time that Abdezito did? Uh, not the same time because the the Three Y Z is a new company that we we started this year. Like it, it's less than five it's five months old. Uh, it's pretty much my old company Z, and then we got we got together with other other guys that they are more like in the AdSense business, the Google thing. So we're working in this performance and then creating that, like the whole pack for websites and promoting and selling ads. It's it's really nice. It's been it's been great. They are they are nice people, but it's a lot of work. And then the, the, there is the app the Zero. I'm more like. Uh, taking care of Abdezito then 3YZ then we have like other designers and, and and people working on that of course I'm always uh, giving my opinion and and but I try to to set, like to, to not blend them together it's a different I was just going to ask that are there any places where 3YZ and Abdezito cross paths do you guys you know do, you no, know does the like, business the only thing help? That, yeah, like Abdusido uh, taught us a lot about like uh, pretty much because of the traffic and how to like to use Drupal like as a CMS, how to be prepared to a lot of traffic like cache things and more like the technical part of the business and but in terms of like that that's that's why we use the expertise from Abdusido 
on, on our business on our clients and then we show that oh, we, we we can do something for you because we have this experience with that so so that's it. I always found this interesting you know there's a sort of dichotomy that you know if you're an artist that you have to play you want to serve you want to be able to do your art for uh, you know for your work um, but you know there's this business side of it that you have to deal with so you got to be really good at the business side and you got to push that envelope as much as you can and understand the business side. But you also have to set aside time to do your work, to do your artistic endeavors. You know, um, how do you how do you balance that work, sort of lifestyle, art uh, thing? Yeah, it's it's like I try like for business. Like when I'm working on uh, like professional design projects, and I like I always focus on the audience. That thing that, that that's one thing that I always pay attention I, I I try to avoid to put my personal opinion in terms of taste oh I like this color better than the other one I try to understand what the audience wants because I think that is design that's the difference between design and art like uh, I have to 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 do something for somebody for an audience and then I have to do that the, the way that they like not the way that I like of course I have to use my design skills to to to, to come up with something good, but not to, to say that, oh, I reuse like a very 80s uh, retro inspiration, retro inspiration of, no, that's different, that's different, that, that that's why, that's why I have like that visita, because then I can like work on my personal projects and, and do whatever I want, pretty much, it's more art, I mean, is more art than design sometimes, so. I'm, I'm scrolling, I'm zooming in on one of your pieces here. I went to uh, Flickr and grabbed some of your artwork from there. And this is a, a fake uh, Nike ad that you put together. Um, and it says, Abuzito yeah. just did it. And you got some cool <laughs> sparks coming off of the, uh, the Nike swoosh there. Did you, did you actually uh, record, did, did you take that photo? Did you make those light strokes? Uh, that was cool because uh, that, that tutorial was funny because I was talking to a friend of mine, the Cameron from 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 LA, and then we were talking about ways to create the, the that effect, and then uh, and then that idea came to my mind, and he he sent he sent me some images, and then I then I said, wow, that that's a nice idea to play with uh, photos and, and and a logo, like the the flame things and the sparkling, I don't know, and and then I. Like I did an image and then created a tutorial, it got pretty popular. And with I just did it like that, I, sometimes I'm watching a movie and then I see an effect and I say, whoa, that's really cool, I can, I can do something like that. And then I go, I go back home, I come back home and then I go to Photoshop and start trying. And if I see that the result is good and then I, I publish the, the tutorial. And it's nice, uh, and that tutorial is cool. It's very simple. One thing that I try to do is make it everything like very simple. Like there, there are some effects that you see that oh, that looks very complicated. But the, of course, there's a way to make it simpler. And then I'm always trying to find ways to make my work like uh, simpler and easier to do. How many? Do you think do you it's? Do you think those those um, uh, effects are simple because they're beautiful, or because they're beautiful because they're simple? There think, definitely seems to be a coinciding relationship there. I think like simplicity is always beautiful, but it's very hard to make something like simple <laughs> like that. So I, it's so beautiful. It's very hard to achieve something simple like and in, in beautiful. But if you do something, it's complicated to explain. But I like simple things. That that image that you showed was inspired by Andy Gilmore, and then I was always impressed by his work. And then one day I tried to. Let's see how like how how he does that or how can I do that? And then I was playing with Illustrator and and trying new ways and and you see that like if you see the tutorial it's, it's very simple, it's like ten steps, no more than that. It's more about like blend modes and, and color the right the light like choosing the right colors and applying the right blend modes. You Even the Abdezito like, logo has, you know, pretty raw simplicity to it. Uh, can you tell yeah. us a little bit about that? Is that is that your logo, and and what font is that? Well, that's the old logo. Like we have a new one. So what happened is that when I started Abdezito, it was like as I as I told you before, I had lost everything, and then 
and then I, I started with it. I created the blog in one week, everything. So I didn't think about logos. I didn't think about anything. I just put the blog up like online and then start blogging. And then after like a few months, the blog started getting popular and I said, okay, hold on. Like I have to, to have something like more beautiful, better. And then I started playing with the design and then logo. And then that logo was inspired by another phone from T26, like from Carl Segura. I saw that it's going to be on Design Chat. Really? Months, right? It's yeah, a small world. Yeah, that. Carlos is going to be on the yeah, chat next Carlos week. Carlos is awesome. Yeah, I saw that. And then I love T26. And and I was looking like through through like their portfolio and then I was looking for phones and then I found I found some phones that I liked and then I started playing with let, like the characters from each letter which which font and then and then I changed a little bit and then I create my logo and then it, it got like people start asking me oh like what phone is that and, but I don't have phone but that's that's hand like I did that <laughs> and then now we have a new version I even posted a tutorial on how I did the phones it's pretty simple if you see it's very modular I like I it's in my to-do list for quite a lot of time like uh, I have to create a font like that but it's gonna take a while I have to create the, the other characters I have it just the A B D U Z E D O right I yeah the, <laughs> the other ones like keep saying that's a lot bigger than that like, word yeah like <clears throat> yeah they say they say it takes about two years to to completely perfect a font and have a good font. Yeah, there are a lot of um, things to, to think about it, like the current. So is that a project we can see in the future, the Abduzino font? Yeah. Maybe you can get a release from T26. Yeah, and that would be a dream come true. <laughs> Those guys rock, I love them. Not like, you know, you're working hard right now, working 5, you know, to 11 o'clock at night, and like you got some extra time. Guess so you're not sleeping tonight, you're starting a new font. Yeah, the, the tonight's gonna be crazy. It's like 10:30 now, and I have to be up like in a few hours. So there are a lot of things to, to do, but it's been awesome. And sometimes I get pretty upset and stressed out, but it's cool. Like in the end, it's always worth it. It's design. I, I love what I do. That's that's good. That's good. How long have you known that you were gonna be a designer? Were you in when you were growing up in school? Were you always in art programs and that sort of thing? No, I wasn't. I actually I didn't know what I wanted to do. Like uh, when I finished uh, high school here in Brazil, I didn't know what I wanted to do. Uh, but I always liked computers and 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 the design part of it. But I didn't know about design. That that was a word. I didn't know that the word existed. <laughs> it's really kind of crazy. Yeah. That's, but then I that there, I found this. Uh, industrial industrial design uh, course in a in a in a college here in brazil and then i started reading about it the program and then i i liked it and then and i i started doing it it was awesome well, i learned i learned quite a lot of things but when i was doing it i was oh man this is a waste of time i don't i don't know why i'm doing what i'm why i'm doing this but now i think that a lot of things that i learned uh, like what uh, the word from there like art history and I was a teenager back in the day so I was like oh what the, like why, why I have to learn like art history or, uh, you know like and then now it, I, I see that it was really important it, uh, so of course you can learn that that's a question that people always always asking me uh, ask me like oh like do you think like going to, to college it, it's really important uh, I think it's important if you if you can do that if you of course do it but if you cannot it's not gonna be like oh my god like I, I didn't go to, to the college but it helps it helps for sure do you have uh, favorite designers from your design history courses there are there people that you learned about or studied or even now there are there designers that you follow up on and, and you you like checking into their work well like uh, I have like I, I have like nice like teachers in in, in, in college and professors. I don't know how you say this, <laughs> but I learned a lot. Like I remember that I, I discovered like uh, Carlos Segura in college. Uh, like the the other girl, like the woman from Emigre, Susana. I don't know how to say her name. Uh, I forgot her name. From where? From Emigre. Emigre. I don't know. Like Emigre. Emigre. It's a 
type foundry pretty popular i type to hear if somebody can help yeah that's it so, oh okay okay then, yeah so all these guys from any grid like love their phones too like pretty fantastic they changed the design yeah they are really important in the graphic design scene and even the David cars on everything all these design things I, I i learned in school because i didn't know about design before and it was very very helpful now i see that it was now now what now i see that it was really it was really good what i learned from uh, from 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 there from from the college uh, but in the, yeah. you know, in, in the times that we've we've talked before, we've talked about you know how uh, you started it, you know, making some of your designs. You know, you had your laptop, and I, and you totally blew me away when you told me that you don't even use a mouse. That you you design <laughs> what you do with your trackpad on your laptop, and that you know that really sort of blows me away because you know a lot of the designs that you do have these nice flowing lines. It looks like they're pencil drawn. I assumed right from the beginning that you were using, you know, one, one of those pads, you know, with, with the touch sensitive pens. But all of this, are you, are you still maintaining this or were you just putting me on? Yeah, no, no. Like I'm working, uh, I like, I, I, I don't use the mouse that much. Like I'm always with my computer. I have two offices now, my home office and my studio. And then I'm not even like taking, bringing my mouse with me. And so I work the whole day without mouse. I really like the trackpad on my Mac. It's really good. Like it's very sensitive, but like I like to to work on that. Like I got used to work without mouse, just with the trackpad. So it's nice. The mouse is good when I have another. I use the mouse when I have another keyboard. Then I I, ha I like to use the mouse. But when I'm using the, the the laptop's keyboard, I like to use the trackpad more. And and pretty much the, the tutorials I do for Adobe Zero, I'm like I'm laying down on my couch on my sofa watching TV and playing with the tool. That's the weekend, like or and I say, okay, let's play something. And I start playing with the with the with Photoshop, and then sometimes I'm watching movies and I say, oh man, that's cool. And then they, let's try that. That's crazy. I was going to ask, you know, do you have any like Photoshop secrets or something, you know, and it, you know, of course you wouldn't give away a real secret, but at the same time you write tutorials. You tell people exactly how it is, step by step, how you do what you do. Um, do, do you think the secret isn't so much in the right blending mode, but just experimentation? Would you say experimentation is a, is a secret? Yeah, I think that's, that's the secret. Like you have to try because, uh, if you pay attention, that like it's 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 not complicated if you try it. And sometimes you before you try, you you start putting things in your mind. Oh, that's complicated. That's too hard to do. And and, and when you try to do, you see that it's not that complicated. Uh, the first time might be, but then like you try it again. And then uh, now like uh, sometimes people send me suggestions, and I love when they send. So please, guys, keep sending. I like suggestions because uh, I when I see an effect, uh, the guy send and say, "Whoa, man, that's good!" And then let me try that. And sometimes I, I spend a lot of time trying it, but in the end, it's very, very cool because I learned, just I learned mentioned a lot. something about uh, Pixelmator. I, and I've seen when I was looking on your Flickr account, I yeah. saw a lot of mentions about Pixelmator. I know absolutely nothing about it. Why don't you tell us about what's what's Pixelmator? What's good about it? Pixelmator is like a uh, Photoshop for uh, for Mac. is uh, it's, it's simpler, but uh, it's really nice. And and I have been talking to the guys uh, over at Pixelmator, the guys that that are creating Pixelmator, and and then I don't know why I started like working on Pixelmator even more, and I try to create everything that I do in Photoshop and Pixelmator and see the differences and then see what's good on one and and and, and the other. And I can tell you, like, I think the tool is not the most important thing, that's for sure. Like, uh, the ideas and, uh, like, how to do that is more important than the tool itself. You can you can do that on GIMP, you can do that on, like, on Illustrator or, Illustrator or Photoshop or Pixelmator. Of course, there are some things that are easier to do in Photoshop than in, in Pixelmator. But uh, in the end, it's pretty much the same. Like if you use layer styles, for example, in Photoshop, that you can do like the the shadow and stuff like that. You can do that like uh, 
in pixel maker without the layer styles of course it will it will take a lot of time like to do but you'll be able to reproduce that because it's the same thing um i just heard tonight and i tweeted it out i don't know if anybody saw it i heard a radio commercial um where adobe has a new product that is a um uh, like a screen sharing conference thing uh, I don't know exactly what it is because I haven't looked it up yet. I literally, I was in the car on the way here and there was a radio commercial talking about this new Adobe program. And this sort of scares me because if they're concentrating their efforts, if they're spending time and spending money uh, on conferencing software rather than, you know, what's the next, you know, important thing that happens in Photoshop or the next way that Photoshop integrates with Adobe, or with Illustrator rather, or even more importantly, once we start getting touch screens, how is that going to cha change how we design? You know, I, I want to hear about those things. It kind of it kind of scares me that they're working on client you know client meeting software. What do you think about that? Yeah, I think like I upgraded to like I had CS3 and then I when they released CS4 and then I I upgraded right away and then was, and then I regret it because I spent a lot of money. And I didn't see much. They said that, that oh, there's going to be like a lot of performance improvement and then stuff like that. I didn't see anything. Even like uh, Photoshop crashes all the time. It was like in really? three, it was, yeah, my Photoshop crashes a lot. My fireworks, I use fireworks a lot. And there are a lot of bugs that really annoy, annoy me. And I don't know. Uh, and I, I have used this, uh, I've been using this, uh, this conference uh, app that I don't have a house. It's it's really you nice. You use it? To, yeah. I How long has it been out? I know nothing about it. I think like since the the CS4 release, like you have the share share thing when you go to fireworks. I don't know if it's the same app, but if you go to fireworks, there's a, like if you go to fire, there's the share my screen like it, option, and then you can share your screen in this uh, Adobe like environment. It's it's nice. It's nice when you're work, working with people like remote. Desi Lady just mentioned that Photoshop is is too bloated, and and I understand where where she's coming with this. You know that there are just too many different ways of doing the same thing, and too many things that you can do in one program. You, you, yeah. And now that I'm hearing that now, okay, Fireworks, it's built into the program that you can share your screen. Do you think there are too many? Do you think these these programs are getting too big? Yeah. They I don't know, like it's complicated, but I think like for example Photoshop, like if you use Pixelmator, Pixelmator uses a lot of like the, the, the Mac OS car uh, image thing that they have, so if you use blur, like filters like blur, and uh, it's much faster than in Photoshop, it's, it's incredibly faster, so I don't know why Adobe uh, doesn't do that, doesn't use the things that Pixelmator, if you use Pixelmator, try to use Pixelmator just once and you see that it's much faster and Adobe tries to do the, their way but I don't know why they do that so we have do you think that do you think that Adobe is sort of hurt by the fact that they don't have any competition you know, they don't yeah, have another company that's innovating new ways and is right there with them to push them to do anything new yeah that's for sure that's for sure so they can do what like whatever they want so we have to we have to buy their, their apps. <laughs> we cannot do anything like uh, there was Micromedia before, but they they bought Micromedia. So they, they what about what about it. like uh, like GIMP? Uh, somebody just mentioned that. Five mentioned yeah. GIMP. There are some uh, open source uh, you know design programs that are popping up and are getting more popular. I'm not personally familiar with them. Um, yeah. Do you use them at all? GIMP. Yeah, I have. I have like three or four tutorials on GIMP, like I used GIMP, like I like GIMP, I think it's an amazing app, it's free, but what I, I, I don't like GIMP, like the thing that I don't like in, with GIMP is that I have to use that X11 thing on Mac, so it changes the keyboard, the shortcut and everything, so it's it's annoying, so that's why I stopped using GIMP, but I, I, I've been receiving a lot of emails with people asking me, oh, I, you should start doing GIMP tutorials, and and probably I will start like creating all my Photoshop tutorials in GIMP as well. That's that's a thing that I have in my mind. And and, and GIMP is pretty it's pretty much like Photoshop. Everything and uh, it's 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 not exactly the same, but it's it's very similar. It's even more it's it's more similar than than Pixelmator. 
I'm looking at uh, one of your pieces here. It looks like for a magazine in, in Brazil here. Can you tell us a little bit about yeah. this piece? That was, that was awesome because this is a very popular magazine in Brazil. And, and the guy, the guy contacted me. I was traveling and then they, they sent an email and then, and then they said that uh, there, there was this, uh, this issue, like this, uh, this issue of the magazine that was about uh, like uh, uh, live in other planets. And they saw it, the tutorial on Agdesido and they really liked it because it, it was exactly what they were looking for. And then, so we, then they asked me if I wanted to, to do the, the, the image for the cover and I said, of course I want that. That's that would awesome. be awesome. Yeah. yeah then, and, and, and that's another thing that I always tell like when, I, when people ask me about Agdesido and I'm about giving uh, things for free and then I, I, I always uh, tell about this example because uh, they, they found me because of Abduzido and I was giving away for free how to do that, even the PSD file, but they contact me anyway. So if I, if I, if I hadn't uh, created the tutorial, they, they would never have like contacted me. So I think the best way to promote yourself, it's sharing your experiences, sharing your, like your, what do you know, like your work. Don't be afraid, like if they cock you. So. Uh, in the end, like they will speaking about uh, giving stuff away for free, uh, I think I think we're about ready for question time here. So yeah. eight forty four here. Uh, we got another fifteen twenty minutes in the chat. Um, so uh, I saw a lot of questions popping up there already. And if you don't know already, we tweeted it out um, at the end of the, the chat. Fabio is going to personally pick the best question of the night. So make sure you take notes, man. Uh, and and whoever. Uh, <laughs> Whoever has the best question of the night, uh, he's going to send them a free T-shirt, an Abdezito T-shirt. Yeah. So uh, so start firing them away there. Start throwing your questions out there, and and we'll we'll try to address as much as we can. But uh, please don't be mad if uh, if we miss anything. <laughs> so they're already going. What do you see? What are you seeing so far? Oh man, there are so many questions popping here. Like to what's oh. what's the most uh, you know played out question that you get? What question do you get the most? Ah, uh, people like it, they ask like how how I started with the zero or I I receive a lot of questions about like if if I if I did any like like college courses if I went to college and then that's the most like the question that I received the most if I went to college and or if I learned everything or I, I did I I took courses. People Mighty Indol wants to know if you've ever been abducted yourself. Have you been abducted by aliens? Yeah, no, I, I haven't been abducted by aliens. Not yet. <laughs> Let's see here. You started with industrial design or you work graphics. So hold on. No, I don't have plans to back to industrial design or product design. It's, it's too complicated. I, I suck to that. Like my prototypes were, were terrible. Like I was always like pretty scared. It's good to know your strengths, right? <laughs> yeah, like keep it visual. Like I don't want to, I don't want to do anything like in the real, for real. Keep in the computer. It's going to be fine. <laughs> How, what's your initial vision for Abdesid and how it has it changed? Well, like, the, the, it's Carson asked this question, so what was your initial vision uh, for Abdesid and how has it changed? So, yeah, like, Abdesid started as a way to, to share my, like, for, to share my, 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 my inspiration and my Photoshop things and and now it's much more than that. Now we have like we have to come up with like articles. We are always looking for inspiration. Before it was like things that I was working on and I used to share my inspiration. Now we are looking for that, and and people are come like helping us sending like images and contributing more with the blog. I would love to have. <laughs> Krishna Boyle wants to know, does your work translate easily into web design or does it lend itself solely to the medium you originally intended? Uh, yeah, that's a good question because I have like my, 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 my degree is in, in graphic design, but I, start, I started working with web, with the internet in 1999 and it was pretty much the very beginning of the internet in Brazil. So I have to learn everything. So, uh, and it was very different from, from what it is now. Hold on, there's another plane coming. 
So everybody, everybody pause. Everybody hold your questions. Everybody pause, yeah. Design chat is currently on pause because <laughs> there is a plane coming. Yeah, there are plane coming. I have to think of it. <laughs> yeah, it was a big plane this time. So, <laughs> yes, I know, like, I know by, like, how they, they sound. <laughs> Five says aliens. Are you sure it's a plane? Yeah, it's maybe it's a spaceship. Everybody's shaking, like everything is shaking here. Like it's pretty. Cool. Wouldn't it be yeah. awesome if you were abducted on Design Chat? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> imagine that. That would be like awesome. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> life imitating art, art imitating yeah. life. I don't abducted know. live, yeah, like special effects. <laughs> next time, next time you come on the show, I'm gonna pay some guy to dress up like an alien and come in your house. Yeah, turn off the lights and then the <laughs> light effects. <laughs> It'd be so cool. <laughs> All right, you see any other questions here? What do we got? How is the design community in Brazil? Do you find it's better? Uh, so this is a nice question because uh, I was in, in United States for the front end design conference, and then I was talking about the influence in the of like the Brazilian culture, and. I don't know, like, in Brazil it's pretty different because uh, first first we speak Portuguese, it's, it's like, uh, it's, everything is, is, is different, so we have to wait for somebody to translate the things, even magazines, we don't have, like, in, before it was even worse, when I was in college, it, like, we didn't have design magazines, we didn't have anything, so we have to go after, like, uh, uh, like, imported books and magazines so we couldn't read the thing so in some way like it was complicated but it helped us to try to come up with new interpretations of like what we are looking at uh, so the, the language barrier, barrier is, is, is very it's, it's very important I think in this design uh, there's another plane you got another plane all right let's pause for a second um keep on reading questions oh. Yeah, this is a big one. <laughs> I think they're landing on your house, man. That's why I work a lot, you know what I mean? Like, I cannot... That's the design there. chat first. That's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, uh, I cannot just sleep second, there. We'll pause as long as we got the, the pause here for a second. Um, keep on reading some questions. Pick out some questions. I'm going to do a couple announcements. Um, okay. First of all... I'll, I'll be right back. I need to get another beer. Hold on. Oh, okay. Yeah, by all means, get, get your beer. Um, okay, so... This is Design Chat. We do this every week. Uh, next week is gonna gonna be uh, Carlos Segura uh, from. He's got his own shop in Chicago, SeguraInc.com. I'm sorry um, about and that. Actually, that's all right. You'll see you'll see some uh, Design Chat links. Design Chat links is also a Twitter account. So if, if you wanna uh, if you think about something later, look up Twitter.com/slash/DesignChatLinks um, uh, for any of the the URLs that go out. Um, so next week. Uh, like I said, we have Carlos Segura. Um, a couple other things. Um, we're broadcasting from Samata Mason right now, and that's a design agency in West Dundee, Illinois. And uh, they've been a very cool group. And one of the things they're doing uh, uh, coming up September 16th and 17th is the CUSP Conference. That's in Chicago. So if you haven't registered already, uh, go to cuspconference.com. Uh, that's a design conference that, that deals with uh, everything uh, up it's no called it's called the design of everything. So it's not specifically designers who are coming to speak, but it's pe people who um, their daily life, you know, has some sort of tangent on the life. So it's a new perspective. It's not like all the other design conferences out there. So very cool. So those are the quick announcements. Uh, we'll get to a few more at the end of the show. So uh, uh, Fabio, do you have your beer? Yeah, I got my beer. Okay, good. We can move forward. Yeah. Before can we play. get Gary V? <laughs> Five. Are you asking? Can we get Gary V for the show? Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of thought about contacting him, you know, because I think he'd be a great interview, and uh, you know, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea because he does. He, what Gary really gets really well is, is um, brand experiences. He understands what it means to be a brand and, and how to uh, how to behave as a brand and what's successful, what works, and especially with social media, Gary V gets social media, so that's. Uh, and yet very inspiring too. So a uh, good question on that one. Uh, Fabio, you seen anything else there? What's the best beer to drink for a design inspiration? What's your, what's your favorite beer to drink while you design? When, when it's well, Sunday and you're laying on the couch and you're designing one of your cool logos, 
on your trackpad. Yeah. What beer are you I drinking? Drink, yeah, I'm drinking a Stella now, but I've been drinking a lot of wine lately because it's it, it's winter here in Brazil. So when it's winter time, I I prefer wine. But today I bought some Stella for for the design chat. Awesome. <laughs> Abdezito Light, nice. You should start making your own beer. Yeah, um, <laughs> Abdezito Light. I, I forget who asked it, but somebody, they've asked the question a few times. Uh, how old are you and when did you start doing web design? Uh, so, I just turned 3.0. I'm third year. 3.0, I like it. Yeah, 3.0. That's the only way I'm going to say it too. Software update, like three weeks ago. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Much faster. Happy birthday. You just had a birthday? <laughs> you yeah. just had a birthday? Yeah, that, three, three weeks ago. So. Happy birthday, man. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah 3.0, like the bugs are like were fixed. Everything is running faster. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, a good way to look at it. Yeah, so and I've been working since, uh, let me see, 1998. I don't even know how to do the math, and I suck at math. <laughs> so if somebody wants to see that, let me let me open here to see. Like I think it was twenty, twenty something. Well, Charles like, Valerio I, was asking, "What do you do when you step out of the house? What are your hobbies? What do you do besides design?" Uh, so I surf. Like I go to the beach, like pretty much every weekend. Uh, but now I have internet on the beach, so at the big beach, so it's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> So that doesn't sound right. Should the internet really be on the beach? Should that be allowed? Yeah, so, yeah, of course, like, uh, like my girlfriend didn't like that, my ex-girlfriend, so she she dumped me because of that. <laughs> <laughs> when they really, when, when I got internet, she like at the beach, so I lost a girlfriend, so at least I'm connected when I'm at the beach. <laughs> <laughs> it's the balancing life, right? You, at least you, you got your priorities like, straight, right? Yeah, so I can focus on Ab <laughs> That's fine. So yeah, I go to the beach and then I like to go to the movies and that's it. So I'm not like all the time, every time in front of the computer. Like like eighteen hours per day it's enough. <laughs> it's oh that's enough. not all the time, no. no. Yeah, it's not all the time. All right, chat room, you got to start asking some good questions here. You got about five minutes left before the chat's over and uh and we want to send you guys a t-shirt, so get your, get your questions in there. If you could do a design for one person product campaign, what would it be and why? From Christian Boyle. Oh, man. I think, I don't know. Nike. Nike is awesome. I love, I think I could do that. I had the design ready, so it was... <laughs> You've already done the work for, yeah, your, for a Nike done, campaign? Done. Yeah, it's done, so I just did it. That would be the, the design. Well, maybe we'll get somebody from Nike on the show. We'll make a connection happen. We'll make some business yeah. happen for you, man. <laughs> There's another guy here asking if I want to change the logo. I start getting, like, worried about, like, they don't like my logo. Don't like my logo. <laughs> so, I think yeah. I saw that one. He's looking for work. He wants to work on your logo. I think he's what yeah. he's <laughs> Yeah, we love the logo. Yeah, I like the logo too. So, so let's see you. another question. Uh, man, there are a lot of planes coming here. I know they're they're actually they're <laughs> doing their homework here. How many do you like to have? Airplane. Yeah, it's the time here. So let's turn that I'm into sorry. a drinking game. Every time you hear the airplane, you gotta do a shot. Yeah, they will get drunk then pretty easily. <laughs> Uh, who is your favorite designer? And uh, my favorite designer? Well, oh, that's a very tricky question. And you I can't like say me. you. No, I, that's not me for sure. I like a lot of people. Like, like there are different styles. I love James White. Yeah, James White. There is. I, I, I'm a huge fan. A huge fan of his work. And uh, like Dave Carson. Um, like the Brazilian designers, Ademas Batista, I love a lot. Like a lot, there there were some questions about Ademas. I love Ademas. I love uh, Eduardo Recife. I love uh, Guilherme Marconi. It's it's a big friend of mine, and and it's awesome. Uh, yeah, the Brazilian designers are great. There are so many people. Like in the, with Andesito, I, I I had the chance to. 
to know more people so and there are kids like seven 17 years old a year old like doing amazing designs it's there are a lot of good people out there you're always learning but it depends like it's very hard to judge a design just by the word so there there, there are more things in like in question like the, the the audience and stuff like that but from the the visual point of view like there are amazing people out there but i don't know like if it's if it, it it works or not uh five was just asking the question uh without the help of your your writers on Abduzito, do you think that Ab Abduzito would have grown as fast as it did? No, no, no. The, the writers are amazing. Like uh, I remember because I uh, I was blogging uh, I I was blogging from 2006 to to the end of 2007 uh, weekly, one post per week, and it was only me like that. And then I talked to to a friend of mine, Paulo, that he was working with me. Paulo was the first writer I did it, and then. I, I I read some articles on TechCrunch and then people talking about this uh, long tail thing and then and then I thought well I have to start posting more like uh, adding like writing more articles and then I talked to Paulo and then we start writing every day and then we we saw that the the the, the visits and the traffic start growing a lot and then people start contacting me and then I asked okay do you want to write for Abu Zid and stuff like that and people oh I'd love to I didn't know that people was so like uh, like there were people interested in writing for Abu Zid and then people liked the idea and and now we have like six six writers uh, like fixed writers like contributors that they write every day so we have like pretty much five posts per day and and now we have a like a, an editor so probably we have like uh we have somebody like reviewing the the the, the articles in english so to to fix some mistakes that because it's not our native language so amanda like that's my cousin from the u.s she will be reviewing the articles and we have the brazilian version like the portuguese version too so there will be more uh, more things speaking coming. of brazil uh Vinny DP just asked, what do you think that the design community needs in Brazil that other countries already have? Yeah, I think the, the problem is that, I, the problem is the, 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 the language barrier, so uh, it's like everything that we do in Brazil in Portuguese, it's only to Brazil, it, it, only Brazilian people will read that and they will understand and they will participate. And that's why I started at the Zero in English, even though it was it wasn't my native language. I thought to myself and I said, "Well, it's much easier to promote myself in English because uh, pretty much everybody reads English. Uh, so like I can like people from Italy, people from Spain, or people from all over will be able to read or try to understand in English than in Portuguese. And I think that's the problem. We have to." to to understand that uh, the, the internet language is not Portuguese and then we start the, for, the, for the web design community not the design but I think we have to be more uh, we think that oh man like they don't care about us but the, in, like the fact is that we're cl we're close to them like if you release things in Portuguese nobody will be able to read that's fact like so we have to to make things easier it's all about making things easier to everybody it's a good point um uh, and uh, we're going to start wrapping things up here, so we're going to take one last question here. Um, Pilot Sleep asked the question, if you weren't doing graphic design, what career would you have? Yeah, well, man, I don't know. Well, I, that's a very tricky question. You'd be a fireman, a pilot maybe, so you could fly by people's yeah, houses? Yeah, probably. Yeah, I would, be, I would be taking care of the airport here. I'm pretty used to, to, to the schedule of the flights and stuff like that so I think that would be my <laughs> my day job a night That's job awesome. an alien yeah <laughs> so uh, all right so we're nearing the end of the chat here uh, so I'm gonna do a couple announcements um, and, and you know the the last promo piece uh, talk and uh, you need to you while I'm talking Fabio you gotta think really hard you gotta pick somebody out and we're going to send that person a t-shirt. So, uh, okay, so everybody, uh, you know, this has been Design Chat. This is episode number 20. Thanks, everybody, for coming. Uh, the thank yous. Uh, thank you, Mashable, for having us tweet out from the, uh, uh, the Mashable uh, chat room, the Mash chat room. Uh, Mashable is awesome for all your social 
uh, networking news. So definitely check that out every day. Great blog. Thank you to Samata Mason at Samata Mason on Twitter. Uh, great design shop in uh, West Dundee. Check out their website, samatamason.com. Uh, and of course, the CUSP conference coming up September 16th and 17th in Chicago, cuspconference.com. Um, uh, who else? Thank you to Fabio. Thank you, Fabio, for coming. Uh, you know, it's, it's awesome having you here. And, you know, I hope we get to have you in the future and, and, and maybe hook up on some projects or something like that. And, you know, just keep, on the, keep the community going uh, with discussion here. And I think what you're doing is great, man. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot again for the opportunity. I love to, to, to talk here. Like the community is amazing. I love the design community, and it's it's awesome to share opinions and point of views. They are great. The and speaking of design community, community, everybody that's here, put your uh, put your Twitter name, uh, post your Twitter name, so everybody knows who you are, and we can follow you and uh, and keep the community going. Whoa! Bang! Look at how fast it goes. It's always too fast to follow. Yeah, too many. It's cool to see that, you know, how many people are here and they're actively participating. They're actively listening and, and putting their names out there. Um, yeah. Websites, too. Put your websites out there. Put, where, where can we see your work? If you're a designer, where can we see what you do? Here comes another 82 <laughs> entries. <laughs> I love this place. I love Behance. I saw Behance.net in there. We had uh, Scott Felsky is a CEO of Behance. We had him. He, he's a very cool guy. He came on uh, for one of the earlier uh, design chats, uh, and I'm I'm trying to book him again for sometime in December, I think, because he's doing some traveling right now. Um, so all right. So I gave you plenty of time, Fabio. It's uh, it's go time. Yeah. Uh, who who uh who had the best question tonight? Who are we send in a t shirt? Uh, me, right? Me? No, you got your eyes, don't worry. I think don't it's worry. me. Yeah, yeah, you you yeah, you were great, like so many good questions, so you get yours, don't worry. So That's uh, my winner, payment. Yeah, the winner's gonna be like the F F F F F F F five. I don't know how many apps there there are there, but the question was really good. Do you think you're, without the help of all, uh, of your writers, how long would it take would have taken to for your blog to grow? That's the question. A really good question. So the guy, uh, like, send me an email. Send an email to abduzida.com with your with your address, and I'll send you the T-shirt. Great question. That's awesome, Bob. Uh, Congratulations. Thanks. Thanks for uh, thanks for throwing the T-shirt out there to the group. That was really cool. Yeah, thank you for again for for the, the the chat it was awesome. Cool man. All right, so we're gonna wrap this up. Uh, Fabio, hope to talk to you again in the future. We'll be looking for your daily inspirations and uh, okay. congratulations congratulations on Abzio. You're doing fantastic. So uh, signing out for Design Chat number twenty. Uh, we'll see you next week with uh, Carlos Segura. Same time, same bat channel. Matchable.com/slash/chat. See you later. See you guys. Bye bye.